So before the video starts, I'd just like to give a little bit of commentary and update, if you will. If you saw the update video, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, here's the update now. So a while ago, specifically during the summertime, I wanted to film some stuff that I believe that was important to the whole series of the Impreza swap. So the video specifically was doing the clutch on the flywheel which I spent a lot of time filming and stuff like that. But, like I said in the update video, my hard drive took a shit. Hard drive took a shit. All the video footage that I had on the clutch and flywheel for my Impreza, gone. Oh, fucking gone. So, that's a bummer. Apologilisticalisms, my guys. Or, my dudes. Either way, lost that, so a part of the series won't make it into the video. So, that's all I got. Sorry for doing that. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Enjoy the video, I guess. Alright, so before I put the engine in, I want to at least make the engine bay look decent here. So, let's take a look, you know, move all the accessories the best I can. Probably some of this stuff is going to snap right off, because that's just typical. If, it, if that's the case, not the end of the world, I'll figure something out. If it snaps, it snaps. I could relocate it somewhere, tap it, whatever, rethread it, whatever. But yeah, idea is to clean this whole thing up, prepare it before I can actually do stuff and put the engine in. But yeah, take this old engine out and then start working on unbolting stuff bit by bit. One little nut and bolt at a time. So uh, yeah, let's do this.
That's not good. That shit's about to snap off. Something tells me it's about to break. Well, that's broken. Why do I even try? So, majority of the stuff is out that I don't want to take out. So you can already see a bolt is already snapped and trying to move all this out of the way, it might be a bitch and a half. So, I'm going to leave it at that and then next time I'm going to, you know, power wash this thing, degrease it, maybe take care of a little bit of the rust, Use take a wire wheel to it, metal prep, rust stopper, POR15, maybe top coat if I feel like it. So, on to the next step, which will be whenever I have free time again. So yeah. So yeah, time to start working on this again. It is October, so the sun is going down faster. So I probably won't have enough time to start using the wheel grinder and the wire wheel on this. But uh, I'm just gonna try to scuff up whatever I can. Come back and do the wheel grinder, wire wheel. And then I can do all the preparation work to paint the engine bay. So yeah. We got scuff pad. I don't have scuff and stuff, so I'm just gonna have to do this for now. This will suffice, I think. Let's get to it.
So yeah, as you can see, I already had a garbage bag over this, a plastic bag over the master cylinder, but uh, there's things like the harness, headlights. I guess these will get taped up too. Too lazy to unbolt the clamps and rip them off, but whatever. I'm gonna do a little bit of taping up. I'm gonna leave some stuff exposed for the paint to protect it but yeah I guess we'll get to that Rusty spots. I'm gonna use this wire brush. Definitely want to wear goggles or some type of eye protector for this one. So it's the next day, and uh, got a little bit of wet spots here, but as you can see, some of the uh, bare metal or where the rust used to be is starting to whiten up, like this bolt nut right here. Starting to white up. Either way, got to dry out some of these spots, so borrowed a air compressor from work to try to blow out all the water that's still stuck in little crevices here and there and then I'll you know newspaper and tape and start uh, spraying some paint in there we'll see what happens
So yeah, that is Rust Reformer on there. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Up next is to apply some PR15. So I'll get back to you on that. Also, a word of advice if you're going to be painting in an enclosed space like this, definitely invest in a respirator. So, a little bit of bad news. I lost the footage of me recording applying the PR15 into the engine bay. I'd like to apologize on losing the footage as that seems to be a normal occurrence. I don't know if it's because of the GoPro because a couple of times I've been filming, the GoPro has been acting up a bit. I don't know if it's because of the weather or the temperature, but either way, the PR15 has been applied into the engine bay and I was not able to get the footage of it getting applied on there. If you would like to see what it looks like when I apply PR15 on something, you can see the video of me PR15, the frame of my hard body. But yeah, because I don't have the footage of that, that'll be the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this gave you an idea of what is involved when I do all this stuff to my car. And hopefully that can correlate to what you're going to be doing to your car potentially. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Check out my Etsy and my other social medias. Have a good one, guys. Later.